That's hot.com, Kendrick Lamar. That's what I thought I was saying about it. That's hot.com. Music means. Oh, it's an outlet to, you know, um, express yourself. I think that music is the one thing that everybody can kind of unite on. Um, so, music is everything. Come over here, baby. Come over here, baby. We could lay around all day and do a bunch of nothing. That's how we know we got something. I know it's gotta be something. We just kick back and look at the stars while we're high. Hey, what's up? Kevin John here for That's Hot. And as you can see, I am standing in the studio right now, also known as The Vault, with the one, the only, Paloma Ford. How are you doing? I'm well, how are you? I am well, too. I am amazed um, of this place in here and, and, and with you. So... Before we get into you, um, I thought it was interesting, you know, a lot of times people think music artists wake up and just hit straight to the studio. You woke up this morning, well, like this, you woke up like this, but you woke up like this, yeah. But you also started off um, exercising this morning. Why don't you say how you uh, your Saturday morning started off? Um, I woke up about nine and I just went to the canyon and did a little run. Um, I just try to keep my body healthy and, you know, it gets my mind right so I can start my day right. Now, you said keep your body healthy. Do you feel as a mu musical artist, it is imperative to make sure that you have a nice figure and a nice body to complement your um, your musical talent? Absolutely, but it's mo it's more than that. It's about just feeling good about yourself and, you know, and I'm really big on health and, you know, just making sure that I'm good. Let's get in a little bit more to your music. Uh, the one thing I find interesting about you is you are an independent artist, or in the industry we call that unsigned hype. Now, do you feel as an independent artist it is harder to promote your music? Or um, what are some of the challenges or strengths that come with being an independent artist? Um, I think it's, yeah, it has its strength and its weaknesses. Um, with the internet, you know, you really have... I think as big of a chance as being signed, you know, to a label to get your music out there if you you take the proper steps um, because it's crazy, you know. You think that you are just, you know, reaching a small audience, but there's the internet all the, over the world, and I have fans from Germany, from you know the Middle East, everywhere, and so I really believe you know uh, independent artists are kind of at an advantage right now more than ever. I see. I think Macklemore himself can tell us that. Now, you, you know, you said uh, something I thought interesting about the internet. How has the internet? Uh, social media, new media, how has that revolutionized the music industry? Well, it's just given more artists a chance to be heard, um, you know, and it kind of puts the power into the artist's hand, I think, as opposed to possibly getting signed, you know, not coming out for years, or, you know, just th different things that, that, you know, happen with the old way of doing things. And I think now it's, you, you have the power in your hands to reach an audience and, you know, build a fan base on your own. So now speaking of building a fan base building an audience you didn't always start off like this um, You know you paid your dues you were can you can you explain your journey a little bit on how you became an artist and to where you uh, Where you are now doing songs with Meek Mills? I actually started uh, about 19 is when I got my first professional paycheck uh, doing background vocals for Macy Gray on her album big and yeah, so I've been I've been doing it for a while now. I'm sorry, is Macy Gray's voice that raspy like in person as well, or is that just like her studio voice? She, absolutely, that's her voice. I love it, it's so yeah. distinctive. She's awesome. I've worked with several artists since then, um, Sleepy Brown and the Dungeon Family, and then I was signed, yeah, and then I was signed to Rico Love for a short period of time on Division One. So um, it's it's been, you know, a, a while in the making. Your journey to where you became now, what would you say is the, uh, the biggest thing that you've learned about yourself along this journey? The biggest thing I've learned about myself, um, I'm going to 
answer that question in a different way. I think that I've really just learned to be open to um, doing other styles of music and, you know, just being open to other just other musical things because it wasn't until you know my producers were like try this you know try this and I was like no that's not really me and they're like no try it trust me and when I tried that you know all these doors open I got the remedy it's you on me and me on you and you on her the her on you and you on me and me on y'all what up y'all it's your partner big boy big boy's neighborhood and you're watching that's hot.com because it's hot 